Good days and gentlemen. Good morning and welcome to Rashis Kaman TV, the tallest man in Black Africa. Since Kidiki was nominated by William Samoruto to be the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Mwagi Kijuri has never uttered a word. Anwai Guru congratulated the Deputy President has never talked since then. The aga with Mwagi Kyujuri, the Laikipia Member of Parliament, is palpable. Mwagi Kyujuri expected that William Samaruto would go for him. Indeed, William Samaruto had promised almost everybody in the mountain. Unknown to many people, these people from the mountain were made to sign the impeachment motion before other people started signing. And Anwai Goro was told that if she mobilized the people, the members of parliament from Kirinyaga County, should be the next deputy. Kyujori was also promised. Dedinyoro was promised, but he did not take it seriously. Kangata was promised. And they signed. Majority of them signed. If you look at uh, the way the voting took place in the Senate and in the National Assembly, you realize that there was a problem. Because in the National Assembly, Almost all members of parliament from Mount, the larger Mount Kenya region voted for the impeachment of Rigathi Gachagua. But now when it went to the Senate, the senators from Mount Kenya refused to sign. Just a few signed. They chose to start with Rigathi Gachagua. This is because they realized that William Samoruto's game plan was very, very different. Some of them, I understand, even uh, bid goodbye to uh, the members of the county assembly and the ex uh, executive committees. Some of them almost handed over to their deputies because they thought that they would not come back to their uh, county uh, headquarters. But it is Kyojiri who actually is uh, coming out very, very angry because he thought that because he comes from Laikipia, and his ancestral land is Nyeri. And now Laikipia and Nyadaro are very close. They are actual neighbors. And they also, Laikipia is also neighboring Nyeri. So Kyojuri would be acceptable, very uh, easily acceptable, by the larger Mount Kenya people. And again, other than his readers, other than his readers, uh, he was expected to come with experience. Remember, uh, Mwagi Kyojuri was a makaga, was a teacher, and was a cabinet uh, minister. Remember the way uh, he told that um, uh, when the country was invaded by locusts, and Kyojuri was fired by Uhuru Mwagi Kenyatta because of incompetence. Remember the way he was telling people, once you see the locust, you take the photo and uh, you say to the national government, and Uhuru Kenyatta was mad with him and fired him. So th that experience of now Ridos and uh, that of a uh, cabinet secretary, he felt that he was the person to be nominated. And since, on the other hand, Anwai Guru, William Samaruto had promised to the members of the public that if uh, the man the presidential candidate is a man, the running mate is a woman. And William Samoruto had promised Kenyans. And you remember, uh, the women clapped, if you remember very well. She was saying uh, that uh, William Samoruto had actually promised everybody. And everybody, by the way, almost expected Anwai Goro. But they were all disappointed. Very, very disappointed. Before I, I conclude this video, I want you to actually watch William Samoruto promising women and in fact, there is a place that he is saying, and 
uh, if the candidate is a woman and she, somehow because you know what is uh, in the heart the mouth speaketh that time when William Samuruto was promising that uh, the running mate would be a woman he mentioned actually Anne and he must be uh, referring to Anne Wegoro so watch here guys and one of the assignments she has is that we must as a party lead from the front and we must make it in the rules uh, madam and uh, madam uh, Cecily Marire, that when rigiji and myself to kifika hapo mbele na tume pangana tume kubaliana vile itaenda we must also agree that going forward, if a man is a candidate for president in our party, the woman must be the runner. And, and if a woman is a candidate, then the, the man, a man can be a running. Okay? And we must also cascade it down to the governors. So, and we must be intentional and deliberate about it, otherwise it will never happen. And I know fellow party leaders in other parties will agree with us, because we all agree, because I'm sure the party leader in Waipa supported Wavinia, the party leader in uh, ODM supported uh, Gladys, and all the other party leaders supported um, supported uh, their, their women uh, candidates. So we will do this not because we want to do anything against men, but we want to balance so that we all uh, move uh, together. And Madam says, you, as you undertake that exercise, you will have my 100% support. gentlemen. So watching William Samaruto, you can now understand why they are very, very angry. And somebody was also asking, since Sabina Shege had promised Gashagwa actually that uh, the Moshene, that Gashagwa would not be impeached, whatever was happening is Moshene. And by that I mean in the story to Zajaba, I mean Mababo Hana Mashiko, I mean, were just rumors according to Sabina Shege. And according to her, Gashagwa will not be impeached. But we later saw her signing. So what happened here? She was promised that since Kangata would be made the deputy president, then the deputy president would, uh, the deputy governor would now become the governor. And then the deputy governor would nominate Sabina Shege as the deputy governor. And then in 2027, Sabina Shege would vie for the gubernatorial position and the people of Mranga would happily vote for her as the governor for Mranga. That's how she ended up voting uh, for the impeachment of Rikadi Yashagwa. Something that actually embarrassed her, completely embarrassed her. And just the other day, uh, I had her telling uh, the people of the mountain that they need now to support Kidure Kidiki. But if you look at Kidure Kidiki, Kidure Kidiki is not even bothered with what is happening in the mountain. He's trying to cast a national image. And if he's going to succeed, only time will tell. But if you look at him, you realize that um, other than uh, being soft spoken and uh, being a, a scholar of law, because uh, a professor of law, you, you realize that this is a man who actually is not uh, very much used to politics. And uh, that's one of the reasons why William Samoruto chose him, because you see, uh, this man cannot actually, you don't have to look over your shoulders uh, to see what is uh, uh, what he is doing, because he has no ambition. But if you look at Kyojuri, Kyojuri could be more dangerous than Rigadia Shagwa. <laughs> These are people with unbridled uh, ambitions, and there's nothing you can do uh, to stop them. So, uh, again, if you look at Anwe Goro, Anwe Goro is said to have 
presidential ambitions. Kangata the same. By the way, one day, one time I was telling my friend that one day Kangata will be the president will be a president. The way he is moving, he is moving very, very well. And uh, all these people had to be kept at bay. Because you see, uh, there's no way you could replace you could bring somebody who has a lot of ambition. But now Kizure Kideki, I don't think he's interested in becoming the president of this country. Unless a fate put him in the office. I don't think he can even contest. I don't know what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Lakini kama wa Hegel yosema ahadi ni deni na dawa deni ni kulipa. A promise is a debt. Once you promise people something, you must keep that promise. Otherwise, you better not promise. So guys, have a blessed Sunday. Till next time. Bye-bye.